Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we are going to go through our collection again. So this time we're going to be going through C through E of our foreigns. And as you can see, I'm in a new room. There's absolutely nothing here except some shedded floors and a vent right there. But we're going to be going through... Um, D through F, not C through F. But what I do want to do as well is show you one of the C editions I got. As you guys know, I traded with Brennan Taggart and he got me some Cayman Islands coins. So for my foreign book, I got these and I put them in there now. So here are the Cayman Island coins. This one's 2013 We've got Queen Elizabeth on it Here's the back you can see a pretty cool design of a turtle creating um, ripples in water It's a very pretty design Here's what the 25 cent coin looks like this one in particular is a 2008. Here's what it looks like on the back. It's a pirate ship in the sea. So very nice designs on the obverse. Now we're on to the D. So here we have Dominican Republic. It's got a pretty unique obverse. The bus is actually facing forward and it has the words Padre de la Patria. I'm not sure what Patria is, but that means father of the something, maybe father of the country. I don't know. And here is date 1997. This one's in better condition. This one's a 2000. And as you can see, it's got a sort of cool little design right here. Let's get a close up on that because I can't really see it from here. There we go. Republica Dominicana, the Dominican Republic. One peso. Here we have some coins from Egypt. This one's Egypt 5 millimeters. This is what the obverse looks like. It's a bit sideways though. It must have gotten rocked around and it switched. That's what it looks like. It's got one of the, the Sphinx on it. At least I think it's the Sphinx. Could be wrong. And then here's the the uh, reverse. Um, the O in the middle, that means five. And the date is right there. And I attempted to um, translate to get the date. And I got 1957. For both of them, I'm not sure if that's right, but I think it is. Now we're on to the F. Here's some French coins. These ones are um, pretty old. This one's 1948, and the um, next one is 1947. One franc. So this was after World War II. As you can see, it says Republic Francaise. So that's the Republic of France. This one's a newer one. This one's also one franc, but it's a different design. And it has um, a walking lady on the front. Kind of similar to what we have, or used to have in America, which was the walking liberty. That's probably what that is. Here's the back. It's got, uh, I think, wheat in the front, and then on the reverse, and then um, one franc. And then here we got the bigger coins. These coins are 
pretty large, probably just as big as half dollars. These are five francs. They used to make these in silver in France. I forget when, but they did. This one's a pretty good example of one. It's in decent shape. It's 1947. And I know there's some good years for these. Here's another 1947, and this one might actually be rare because um, I'm pretty sure out of um, and one year they made these out of brass. And um, I think in 1947, brass um, five cent was actually pretty rare. So. Yeah, and then we get onto the older coins. This is back when France used the currency of centimes. Here's a ten centimes. This is from the turn of the century, eighteen hundreds and nineteen hundreds. It's a pretty well worn coin. And here's the back of it. The date would be right under this back design. That one's 1907. It kind of looks like Britannia almost in the back. Like a Britannia design. And I can't really read the writing from the camera. That's because I'm trying to read through the camera. And that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, in case you guys want to know how many coins I have in the foreign coin book, there's 150, and that's not even all my foreign coin collection. I have a, um, a hundred more or two over in a box that I'll be showing you guys in another video. Sorry about the echo. I'm not sure how echoey you guys um, it is for you, but um, yeah, I hope it's like not too echoey for you guys. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to comment down below, and see you guys in the next one.